Hello, my dear students, and welcome to English 818 Academic Skills Level 3 for the Technical and Vocational Education. We're going to start in Unit 6 today, and we will write an evaluation essay. By the end of this lesson, we're going to achieve three main objectives. The first one is to indicate reasons and results. Second one is to identify the layout of an evaluation essay. And last but not least, we will write an evaluation essay. To start with, what is the meaning of evaluation? I'm sure you heard me repeating the word evaluation every now and then at the introduction, but what is evaluation? Evaluation is to make an assessment or a judgment about the amount, number, or value of something. You should indicate reasons and results when you evaluate something. In other words, if you want to evaluate something, it means either you are going to tell me this thing is good, it's perfect, it's excellent, or it's bad, it doesn't match the qualities, it depends. So, let's see what are the reasons and results, expressions that we could use in order to indicate uh, some reasons. Let's see together. We can, use, we can use consequently. We can also use so that. Here you are giving an, a reason why uh, any topic is. As a result, you are introducing a result of something. Now let me clarify with introducing some examples of indicating reasons and results. This is the first example. The emperor ordered an army to be built so that his palace would be protected. Pay attention. The emperor ordered an army to be built. I could say here because instead of saying so that. It has the same meaning. Why is the reason that the emperor ordered the army, an army to be built? Is because he wants his ba palace to be protected. So here I'm giving reason. Large numbers of people from all over the world visit Petra in Jordan. Why? Because of its beauty. This is another way of giving reasons. The third example. The roofs of the building fell onto the statues of horses and soldiers. As a result, not one of the statues remained completed. So pay attention, here there is something happened. The roofs fell onto horses and soldiers statue. What was the result? What happened later on? Not one of the statues remained complete. So the expression as a result is giving you a result or an outcome. Now let's move to the layout of writing an evaluation essay. This is very important. Let's write down some points together. Starting with the first paragraph, we're going to talk about general information. Include thesis statements explaining the purpose of your essay. For example, you're going to write about a historical place, a historical tourist attraction, and here you have to explain uh, in general what is the purpose of choosing this place. Let's move to the second paragraph. You will mention the function as well as the role of historical places in general, and then you will be specific with the historical place that you have chosen. Don't forget, here is where you need to indicate reasons and results, here where you have to use the expressions that we have already spoken about, um, like consequently, so that as a result, these expressions are going to be used in the second paragraph. 
Now let's move to the last paragraph, which is the conclusion. Here where you need to summarize the main points and give your opinion. Here you will not just talk about your personal opinion, but you will give me a short summary about the whole topic that you have already evaluated or written. So, what is the historical place that we are going to choose here to write together? I have chosen CID House, and I'm so sure that you all know how historical and magnificent is CID House. Let's start now writing about it. Let me bring, of course, to your attention that you could choose any other historical places. So, my dear students, let's do the writing now together. We're going to write an essay describing and evaluating the purpose of either museums, libraries, or any historical building of a public facility. As I've told you before, we have chosen here to write about CID House. Are you ready? Let's move to the introduction together. So part one, here is the introduction, pay attention. This essay will describe and evaluate the purpose of the CID house, namely to educate and conserve. Furthermore, it will argue that the CID house played an important role in the Bahraini heritage and pearl trade in the past. So now this is general description about the place and the purpose of evaluating CID house. Let's move to part two, which is the body, pay attention. The primary function of the historical places is to educate the people about the importance of a famous trade at the country so that it helps them to understand their history. Just pay attention here to the expression I have highlighted in red, which is so that. Here I'm giving reason. That's why I have mentioned so that. Let's go on. CID House, which is located in Mharag, is educating the public about pearl trade in the past. In addition, it shows the role played by the CID family in boosting the pearl trade in Bahrain, considering their own pearling fleet that guaranteed their annual pearl catch. Moreover, the structure of the CID house is unique and spectacular. As a result, pay attention again, I'm using as a result to give you the outcome or the result about this topic. So, as a result of that, it became a great place to many tourists. I'm done with the second paragraph. Here I gave, I indicated reasons and results why CID House is functioning or uh, is a primary function of the historical places in Bahrain. What does it do? And I'm telling you all the roles played by this historical or let's say this important historical place in Bahrain. Of course, we will move to the third paragraph, which is the conclusion. Here we will say, to sum up, the CID house is a major pride to Bahrainis. As a result, again, I'm telling you about an outcome of its historic buildings and its major role in the pearl trade in the past. So, why do I think that CID house is a major pride to all Bahrainis? I have a reason because of its historic buildings and because of the major role that it played in the uh, pearl trade in the past in Bahrain. So this way I'm done with the conclusion. I have paraphrased my opinion and I have gave a brief summary about the place, which is CID House. Before I end my lesson, I will of course ask you to write an evaluation essay about any historical place, whether you have visited in Bahrain or outside Bahrain. And don't forget, if you want to make it easier, refer to your book, which is Academic Skills Level 3, English 818, page 49 for the proper structure. Use expressions to in indicate reasons as well as 
results. That's very important. Don't forget to do that. So we are done with the lesson. I hope you made use of it and you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we're going to meet very soon. Goodbye.